Okay guys, so two products to share with you. The first thing is the Gizu hair oil. So I uh, did my hair and then I put this in it. I think it's really pretty, it smells really nice. It definitely smells like honey. Um, it's the, what do you call it? It's Negan Mir Salehi, her brand. And I have watched her on and off for a while and she has such beautiful hair. Um, I like it. There's a lot of dimethicone and my hair is, it loves dimethicone. Uh, most of the oils I use have it. I really like the Alterna Candy Oil and the Orbe, the Lust. And now I'm gonna add this one to the mix. This one's really nice, I like it. Uh, I got it in like a kit because I wanted to try out all of her hair stuff, but I think it's very pretty. Uh, it, it has separated and it's giving it like a nice kind of glow, shine, yeah? Okay, so the next, my TV, I don't like when my TV shows. And I don't want that doorknob to show either, guys, you know. Whatever, we need to be like more relaxed and like accept things. So this is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation. I do believe they had a foundation called this before. I probably have. No, it was Bye Bye Lines. Okay, so this has Fair Neutral 11, Medium Neutral 31. So I kind of mixed those two together today. And this is good. I then went to go see about purchasing because it really completely blurred my nose where it looked so filtered. But again, there's a lot of dimethicone in this foundation. I think it's, is it the first ingredient? Uh, aqua, aqua, water is the first ingredient. Dimethicone is the second ingredient. So it's not surprising that it did that. But anyway, Ulta's app was doing 30% off this foundation amongst other foundations. So I got two shades of this. I think I got something in the 20s, 22, 23, something like that. So we'll see. Um, it's a really pretty foundation and the price was really good. So I decided to uh, pick it up and try it with like my actual, actual shade. Guys, do you see how much gray I have? Let me show you. I am almost positive. If I'm not 100% gray, I am like very close. Let, let me see, okay, let me figure out how to show you this. Okay, so, okay, my roots up here, not a very good indication, only because I tend to powder it, but like, look at this. Like, look at how much, like, I feel like I am quite gray, and I have been going gray since my early 20s. It's clearly a genetic thing. Uh, but luckily, mm, is a good angle okay well let's try this side like very very <sighs> anyway i'm just hoping that i can maintain the health of my hair um <laughs> i don't care i guess i have to color it but i just uh anyway take vitamins i absolutely believe that vitamins help your hair and your nails because my nails are like almost unbreakable, they grow really fast, my hair. I trim my hair probably once a month and I take off a couple inches every time. Sometimes I'll take off three inches and it grows back the next month. I feel like people never even notice when I cut my hair. No one says anything like, oh, no. it just, I guess it's just, when it hits like past nipple length, I'll cut it. And then um, it grows right back in a month. So I take the CVS, Super B Complex with Vitamin C. I've mentioned it many, 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 many times. I will link it below too. But I 110% stand behind that it works so well for hair growth, nail growth, etc. Okay, so yeah, I just wanna share those two things with you and then I rambled for like, it looks like five minutes. <sighs> okay, review time. These are delicious. Are they really good? like representation of non? No. Are they super cute? Yes. Are they delicious crackers? Yes. Are they garlic non crackers? I don't get that when I have it, but these are really good. I will repurchase. The spicy chalk remix. I was eating it like a snack, you know, as you do. Too salty for me. Not that spicy. Perfectly fine on spice. I'd give it like a three out of 10. Uh, but then I started adding it to salads and adding it to um, spring rolls. So 
good. Even this like thrown into just yogurt would be really good. So um, I don't know, like I would repurchase, but I'm actually thinking of going in search of an Indian grocery and seeing if I could just find like big bags of, you know, mixes that I like. So let's see if we find that today. Okay, so I hit up the Indian grocery. This one, we got paneer parathas. Hoping these are good. I might make this now. Uh, no, actually I have like leftovers. Okay, we have Kolkata Jai Chanachur. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, but it looked like it had the things that I liked in it. Yes. And then we have potato chiwada. I don't know, potato sounded good. Potato, peanuts. There's raisins in there, I think. Am I even focusing on this? I'm sorry. And then my favorite, crispy fried onions. I'm pretty sure usually it's like shallots. So I got two brands just to try them both. They were like, I think one is made in Poland. And yes, yeah, so this one is made in Poland. This one is the Netherlands, which is very interesting to me, but you know. So... Yeah, I'm gonna enjoy these. Okay, so I went to a local grocery or like kind of Marks. It's an Ohio thing. Might have went into PA or Michigan or something, but I got two of the Power Blend. Basically, I look for something with cabbage, red cabbage, kale, etc. Have apple chips. I may have already eaten the other bag in the car on the way home. And then from Aldi, I have an almond milk, two bags of the pineapple for smoothies, the pineapple strawberry sparkling water also for smoothies. I have the chicken, that's for sumo. Salt and pepper cashews, a salmon. So when I get this one, I usually have to remove all of that stuff on it. It's like too salty for me. And then I've bought these before, but I bought the like cookie version, not the chocolate cookie version. <sighs> the other version is amazing. I probably got that one like four or five times. It's my first time getting the chocolate one. So hopefully these are good. I don't recommend Aldi Bakery in general. I've tried so many stuff and I'm like, unless you get that brioche, that chocolate chip brioche, don't get the sliced version. You gotta get the full loaf. And then these cookies have been really good. And then, Speaking of not really enjoying their bakery, then I picked this up. It's browned butter pecan cheesecake. And it's a little mini one. Cause whenever I see them, there's like these like huge ones that have four types and there's two slices each and it's just massive. And I'm like, I can't get this. Like I like cheesecake. I'm not like someone that can just have a lot of rich, sweet things, you know, like in large quantities. So hopefully this one is good. I love brown butter pecan. It just sounds like a really good, good combination, yeah? All right guys, so today I wanted to test out this new flat iron with you. It's the Bioionic and I got it because it was half off on Ulta's website for like their hair event. And I usually use a GHD. I got that in like a Nordstrom sale maybe a couple of years ago. So I'm gonna put this to like 360. So the thing with this is it's vibrating plates and the new Dyson one, the Corral also has that. And I was, I almost considered getting a Dyson. I was like, do I really? And Dyson products, while I like them a lot, they can be a little heavy. Like if you're like going through and trying to do your hair, it's like, it's nice because it's way less damaging, but their their devices are kind of heavy. So I saw this one and it has vibrating plates. So we're gonna try this out. Um, I already put the Tresemme heat protectant in. I washed my hair last night, so, and I slept on it. And I usually have like a little thing and I sleep like this. So there's always like a kink from that. And what else do I wanna share with you? This robe, okay, it's like a camel kimono, guys. So cute, it's by NSF. I've heard of this brand. Uh, it was on Nordstrom Rack or, yeah, or Nordstrom Rack. And there was one left, it's a size small and it's huge, but it's like, it was originally like $375 or something. I'm like, no, I think I paid about 80 for this, which is a lot for a robe slash jacket coat thing, but it is like so me. It is camo and it's really huge. Okay, so we're gonna clip the hair half up. Depending on how lazy I'm feeling, 
Sometimes I'll separate it into three sections. Sometimes I'll separate it into two sections. This might be like a two sectioner. So yeah, so my hair is very straight, but I always like running a straightener through it to give it that extra sleek, extra sleek. So you turn the power button on and you choose your how hot you want it and it gets to that level and then you have to press power again. And then you will hear the vibrate. So I'm excited to try this, so here we go. So when I try to like straighten my hair, my goal is to kind of have that like soft flip at the bottom. I'm not very good at achieving it. So if anyone knows how to do that, let me know because it still kind of looks straight sometimes and it's probably how I cut it. I kind of like this vibration thing. This is kind of cool. So that's the side that's done does not look vastly different from the other side, but we'll see. That actually looks really nice, it's still shiny. Okay, so this is very fast. I like it a lot. Okay, I think it did a pretty good job of kind of achieving that like minor flip. I think it's the way I cut my hair. I'm like, obviously, I mean, I've been cutting my own hair for a long time, but I think the last time I cut it, it went really blunt and I effed it up and now, I'm dealing with this blunt end for quite some time. I've tried kind of like, what do you call it when you thin it out with those like shearing kind of, I don't know guys, I did not professionally like learn how to cut hair. I just don't wanna pay the money to do it and I've been probably cutting my own hair for like five years. Has it been like four? No, 2013, maybe 2014 I started cutting my own hair and most of the time it ends up really nice. I think I just really like, F this area. Anyway, I would recommend this. I really like this. I'm keeping it. I mean, I did only pay 50% 50, 50 of the price for it, but I'm really into this. Okay, I mean, that looks pretty good. And we're just gonna use that Gizu honey stuff again. This stuff actually smells really good. I understand why people like, why she came out with like a hair perfume and like why people want it as like a perfume perfume because I'm someone that doesn't feel one way or another about honey scents, but this one is really nice. Like it's done really well. Okay, so while I have you here, I wanted to do some hauls because I have just stuff here and there coming. In, and I mean holiday sales are gonna start soon and we are just going to have so much stuff anyway uh, makeup today is not that interesting I don't have really I have very minimal makeup on like we just really use that decorte um, liquid liner and really did some some eyes today so upper lash line just tons of eyeliner and I have this decorte sheer brilliance that I shared with you and I was feeling a little uh, today, so this one's like a little more, it makes me look more bronzy. It's in the shade medium. I actually picked up the shade light in the sale because I'm gonna get even lighter once winter hits and I just, I really love this. It makes my skin look so pretty, like post facial skin, like it just looks so good. Uh, so I can mix the two or whatever, plus the SPF, it's just, Mm, it's so good pricey, but that's why that sale was important. Okay, so that's what I have on the skin From let's see I have my phone here because a lot of these things were like on super sale So I want to share the pricing with you. This was from Lord and Taylor 
Andrew texted me a screenshot that Lord & Taylor filed for bankruptcy. I don't know if they're going out of business. I know a lot of these high-end retailers are closing up shop uh, like brick and mortar, but they're not necessarily gonna lose their space on the internet, obviously. So they're still gonna sell online, I think. Anyway, so it was, they were doing 10% off and like a lot of other things were marked down, maybe like 30, 40% off. And on top of that, there was this promo code that was 40% off your order, but it was like, I guess there was an expiration. I didn't know that there was because I checked in with Andrew later in the day and I was like, you know, these are the things I got. And he's like, Ugh, the, the code expired while he was browsing. And I was like, oh my God. Anyway, so I got two things. The first thing is the Shiseido Future Solution Powder. It's this bougie packaging and I've had my eye on this powder for quite some time. It's like 70 or $80, but between it being on sale and having that promo code, it was like 36 for me. It's really nice. This is like a really nice powder. Any kind of high-end powder that you've used, I would say between the loose powders, oh my God, I'm like losing light and then there's too much light. <sighs> okay, so between like La Prairie, La Mer, the Kagendo. Is it Kagendo or Kogendo? I don't know. I feel like I'm saying it wrong. Whoever's been saying Kogendo, is that also? I don't know. Anyway, this is really nice. So it's like on par with those kind of powders and uh, I would recommend this to you. Very, very, very beautiful. I think it's most similar to probably the La Mer, I would say most similar to that. Anyway. Good price on that. I also picked up an Ugg robe. Now Ugg, I feel like, do the boots, right? But they've been doing home stuff and their robes and lounge stuff has been really nice. Got this one, it's fleece lined, or like it's kind of this like fuzzy stuff lined. And it was on sale for 73, but then I had that code, right? So I think I paid like 44 for this. You can just tell that everything, like the material they use is like high quality. Like you can wash and rewash and it's just, it's really nice. Okay, from, where's this? Probably Nordstrom Rack. I got these earrings. They're from Eye Candy Los Angeles. And I see this brand on Outlook a lot and Rue La La. And I see it at TJ Maxx, Marshall. So I got these little earrings. They're like little starbursts. Well, they're not little actually kind of a large starburst but it also kind of has like marijuana leaf vibe I don't know I'm just I'm very into starburst starburst type jewelry um, I'm kind of getting back into decorating myself um, I mean I just haven't been into it. I want to say for like the past like two years like I don't really share with that much stuff like clothing wise with you guys or like fashion shopping wise because just haven't been into it you know like when you're not feeling like right about your life or yourself you're just like i can't even think about like you know so i'm in a better place now yeah these are so cute i like them so much i will see if i can find them uh anywhere but it's eye candy and they have a lot of like fun jewelry as far as like astrological type jewelry they have a lot of like trendy jewelry there's a lot of animal stuff like birds butterflies snakes etc so i really love they have a lot of really cute stuff but there's a while it's so cute i feel like it's sometimes stuff that i would wear like a couple times and i won't wear again so but these i think i will get good use out of okay so beautylish also had a sale mm, the first week of september <laughs> so we're a little late in sharing this but whatever i'm just sharing you sharing with you my thoughts on stuff so the first thing is the nude sticks tinted cover foundation it's the one that's in the tube and mine is in the shade number three it does match i wore it twice and i was like kind of not super impressed with it so i'm gonna give it another go there's just been so much stuff that i've been trying lately that that kind of got thrown by the wayside so there's that the bosha blotting papers were on sale my favorite ones which are the peppermint they were 450 on on Beautylicious website. So I picked up four. I think that there were like only four left by the time I shopped. So I grabbed all of them. Uh, I just love these. They're so good. I used to be able to find them at TJ Maxx every so often, like $2.99, $3.99. I, first of all, I don't go, go up as much anymore, but then I haven't seen these there for a while. Another promotion they were running was the Good Molecules Instant Cleansing Balm. If you bought the full size, 
you got a little mini one. So the full size is 75 grams. The mini is 23, so a third. So two for both of these for $15 was a really good price. I have maybe one use left in my other one, my first one. So I'm very happy to have this back. Not only do I use it for cleansing sometimes, I also use it to do like facial massage. So, so good, price so good. I love having a smaller size for travel. I'm so, I'm so itchy here and I don't know why. Okay, the last thing I picked up from Beautylish was this gloss. It's the Viseart, it's in Beignet, and I've been, this is the only color I wanted when they release glosses, and I've just been waiting for a chance to pick it up, and it was only $11 in the sale, so let's remove that. I haven't even worn this, like, out yet, because it's been sitting in this box. Oh my god, what does that smell? I like it. So it's like a yellow caramelly nude and I love these types. Oh my gosh. Love it. New favorite. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna put this on my vanity now. Okay. Uh what else have I picked up? So when you I don't know if you guys remember my Walmart video and I talked about the My Shell SPF. Uh I love it. But when I was filming the Insta stories, this is a glass bottle. That, okay, I hate, okay, the goal is, okay, where am I, what am I trying to say here? I could have let it run past 14 or 15 seconds, but I really just wanted to post like one story. But anyway, while I was filming that, I dropped the bottle and I was just like, first of all, someone comes running over, I'm like scared he's gonna like hurt himself. There's glass everywhere. There is this foundation everywhere. It's like on the floor, on my table. I was just so scared. So I was already like, ah. Oh. Anyway, so I bought, I repurchased it because I really love it. And I'm just gonna be, I just, I wish it would just come in like, not this kind of bottle. Um, maybe like a squeeze, like, I don't know. I feel like they might change this component at some point because a lot of the reviews, this is an amazing product. SPF 50, it's matte. It doesn't go uh, beige or pink on me. But this, this is dangerous. Having a dropper bottle for this is not really the best. I don't know. Anyway, I repurchased this because I love it. And then I think I was not hitting the free shipping threshold <laughs> for $35 off of Walmart. So I got like my lashes. I got four of these. These are the 172s. They're like a very natural lash. I also like using these to stack with other lashes. They're just very easy. Okay, lastly, we're gonna do Saks Off The Fit. So this is my favorite brush. It's a Smashbox Angled Powder Brush and I use it for blush. Actually, you know what? I used the Honest Beauty Cream Blush today and it's really pretty. I really like it. You can probably see it. Um, anyway, this is my favorite brush for applying blush and it, is only sold, I think, on the Smashbox website and maybe, I think Macy's sells it. I don't know why other retailers who sell Smashbox don't carry this brush, but um, it was in this kit. This kit was 30 bucks, <laughs> so I got two of them, like literally just for this brush. I know, that's like doing a whole lot, but um, it's just such a good brush. And, okay, there's also another brush in here that's really good. This brush is called the Angle, no, Precise Highlighting. I don't know if I really think it's that great for highlighting, but it's really good for blending out your contour. So I really like that. So there's two brushes in there that I thoroughly enjoy. And then this is the Precise Blush Brush. I don't, I don't know. I might have to seek a purpose for this. I don't, it doesn't instinctually, initially, first impression wise, make me feel like I want to use it. But these two, so, so good. I know we love Blanc Noir, the camo jacket. The gray and the pink one are on sale on the Saks website, Saks Off Fifth website for 60 bucks. So this is the like white gray one, which we love. My favorite one is of course like the green and black one. Um, if there was ever a red one, oh, it would be amazing. Anyway, so let me show you. So the pink one is on sale too, but I actually bought this to see if it would look cute on me. I just, I, this doesn't suit me. I can't wear pink like that. 
That's the gray one, which is the one I have on. But $59.99, and if there's a promotion going on, I will link it. I will link it, of course, and if there's some kind of code that you can use where it will be even less than 60, I'll link that too. So besides doing those groceries yesterday, we have, I went to Big Lots because I had a five off 15 coupon. So I wanted to get sumo treats and I always get the duck or the chicken because it's just meat, right? But there was also a promotion. So every week they do almost like a free item on the weekend. And usually it's just like, I'm not like, <laughs> I don't need whatever it is. But this week it was a free set of lights and they were all different colors. You can get it with green or, I'm trying to think of what other one they had. Hmm. I mean, they have all different color lights. Like you can get blue, green, red, whatever. But I got the white on white because someone, as someone who doesn't decorate, I thought it'd be nice to just have lights if I needed it for like a background or something, you know, just, just to have. I also went to Burlington and I usually don't go there that often, but when I do, the things I check out are the loungewear and the home stuff. There is no other reason to buy anything else there. Everything else there is kind of whatever. Oh, well, snacks. You can look at their food too because their prices are often comparable to TJ Maxx and Marshalls or maybe cheaper. So uh, I have this mahogany teakwood. These are reed diffusers and they're so cute. They're like little minis. It was $4.99 for this set. So. I probably stopped buying candles a, a while ago, like years ago, and now if I buy candles, it's purely for the scent, like a strong candle to scent a room. I don't necessarily burn candles anymore, so I'm really happy to have these because these are also really pretty. I also saw this for $5.99. It has beautiful deco vibes, yeah? I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it yet, but it's very pretty. I'm about to share a pro tip with you guys. I mean, I don't know if it's a pro tip, but to me it's a very big deal because um, I've bought these before. Uh, I've had maybe like two years ago and then I stopped seeing them at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So these, of course, were at Burlington. It's $4.99 for a pack of six pairs. And the tip here is to just buy the same sock. I know this might not be that new for some people who've already been doing this, but for me, it's made a huge difference. Since I just wear a black sock in the winter anyway, I just stopped buying just whatever I thought was cute or what are different brands. So I just bought two to three of these and I never have to worry about losing one and not having something match. I never, I technically don't even need to kind of group them together. I could just like leave them loose, but I do pack them together in twos just so that when I grab them, it's easy. But I, this has been like, life-changing for me as far as laundry goes. It makes such a huge difference not having to do that part of laundry. Okay, so you can probably hear the air fryer in the background, but I just pulled these out. This is fish and mushrooms, and whatever this sauce is, is really good. It's, it's kind of like a tartar. I feel like it's like a tartar sauce with like mustard. It has like a little yellow tinge to it. Anyway, it's really good. My parents dropped this off yesterday. They had driven up to, like, I don't know, by the lake and they, you know, catch the fish and they like deep fry it for you immediately and there's mushrooms there, but super yummy. 